Hi, welcome to managing inbound and outbound transactions using serial and lot numbers in Dynamics Nav. Companies may want to keep track of items from the moment they enter the company. In this situation, the purchase order is often the central document. Although item tracking may be handled from any inbound document and its posted entries displayed in the related item ledger entries. So let's have a look at how we can assign serial numbers and lot numbers when we're purchasing items. I've already created a purchase order, so I'm just going to open it. So I'm purchasing a couple items from London Postmaster, which is vendor 10,000. I'll be buying 50 monitors and 100 cables. This is a regular purchase order for Location Blue, which doesn't use warehouse management, which means if the items are received that we can post. However, if I were to try to post right now, you will see that it will not work because the system wants serial numbers. So this means that we should enter serial numbers for this item. So let's first go to where we should enter in the serial numbers. And that's by selecting the item line then selecting the item tracking lines. You can assign serial or lot numbers in the following ways. Automatically, by choosing assign serial number or assign lot number from a predefined number series, by choosing create customized serial number to assign serial and lot numbers based on number series you defined specifically for the arrived items, Manually by entering in serial or lot numbers directly, for example, the vendor's numbers, or by assigning a specific number to each item unit. I can start entering them manually, but I think you can imagine that entering 50 lines is not efficient. You will see that item tracking is often combined with barcode scanning, so that you can also scan barcodes containing serial number information. For this item, I'm going to create a customized serial number. In the Customize Serial Number field, you can enter in the starting number of a descriptive serial number series, for example, SN Vendor 0001, like I have here. In the Increment field, enter 1 to define that each sequential number increases by 1. The Quantity to Create field contains the line quantity by default, but you can also modify it. You can checkmark the Create New Lot Number box to organize the new serial numbers in a distinct lot. And when I click OK, you can see that NAV has generated the serial numbers based on my criteria. If I go to my second item and select Item Tracking Lines, you can see here that this item has lot-specific tracking. So based on the different lots in which we use these items, you can then specify or enter the lines and assign a quantity to each lot, like I've done here. And now we're ready to post. So now I'm going to post this item. As you can see, the status is now released. So since this document is posted, the item tracking entries are carried to the associated item ledger entries. So if you select Receipt in the ribbon and click on Navigate, you can see that I have 52 entries instead of two because I use serial and lot numbers. If I drill down to the item ledger entries, here are all the items. A serial number will make each item piece unique. The last scenario of inbound item tracking that I'd like to show is one in which I will use expiration dates. Many companies that have to deal with expiration dates would also like to apply the FIFO principle, first expired, first out. The first thing that you would do is create an inbound order with expiration dates. So I'm going to show you a purchase order I've already created. I have an item, bicycle oil, of which I've ordered 1,000 liters. And the item is set up with lot tracking with expiration dates. Let's have a look at the difference between using expiration dates. I'll go to the item tracking lines and show you what I've entered. I've created two lot numbers with a quantity of 250 in the first lot and 750 in the second. You'll notice that one will expire next year 
which is February 16, 2019, and the other expires on February 16, 2020. This is how we can use expiration dates. Just add the expiration date field in the item tracking lines and enter expiration dates based on the information that you might have received from the vendor. And now I'm ready to post. And as you can see, my status has changed from open to released. Let's have a look at how we can manage serial and lot numbers for outbound transactions. The first scenario of outbound item tracking that I'd like to show is selling serial numbers. So I will sell an item that we previously purchased with specific serial number tracking set up. I've already prepared a simple sales order. I have a customer ordering 18 pieces of the monitor that we've just purchased. So we should first assign serial numbers before we can post. So I will select the item and then select item tracking lines. Then I will select the select entries function. And based on the quantity, based on the item tracking that you've used, the system will make a suggestion. So these lines are sort of based on the serial number codes and the first 18 are picked and selected. You can also change the suggestion of the system by entering in other lines. Now, if I click OK, you will see that I have my 18 serial numbers here in the item tracking line page. And now I will post the sales order. So now if I ship, you will see that the shipment is done. Let's go and have a look at the results. Under Documents, if you go to Shipments and click on Navigate, you will see here that we have 18 item ledger entries. So in these 18 item ledger entries, we'll have a quantity of minus one. We are using specific costing in combination with specific item tracking. So that's what you can see here as a result in the item ledger entry. So selling items that use serial numbers are quite easy if we can use the select entries function. And the same goes for selling lot numbers. So let me show you an example of how we can sell lot numbers. And so I'm going to show you the example I've already created. We're selling our bicycle oil that we've just purchased as well. So if a customer ordering 700 liters, and this is what I ventured on my sales line. But we also know here that you should assign lot numbers. So if you click on your sales line, then click on item tracking lines. Also here in this case, you can start entering in lots manually. It also might be easier to use the select entries function. I've already filled out the information needed. So I can click close. I'm also ready to post a document. So there you go, everything has been posted now. And that concludes managing serial and lot numbers in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.